Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create With D. Today we're going to make this adorable, cute, and easy wrap for those giant chocolate candy bars. Let's get started making this cute project. For my large Hershey candy bar wrap, I'm going to be using the 2021 celebration paper. This is called Peaceful Prints and it's really great. It's got a lot of woodland scenes, um, just a lot of fun paper in here. I'm going to be using this sheet of paper because I love the deer image and as you saw in the sample, I'm gonna be reintroducing that. So I'm using my Simply Scored scoring tool. I love it, I go to it all the time. You can also use your trimmer and use the scoring blade on it. What we want to do, I'm gonna do it on this side because I think it'll be a little easier to see, is this is a six by 12 piece of paper and we're going to score it every four inches. So at four inches and at eight. Next, you wanna pick which side that you would like to have as your cover, and I want this deer image. So I'm going to put the print side that I want down, and what we're going to do is going to fold each of the corners down so that it lines up with the score line that we made at four and eight. So I'm gonna do this, finger press it for now and do the same thing on the other side. Bring that corner down so that it lines up to the score line. Next, we're gonna get our big honkin' candy bar and put it right in the middle. And um, I tend to take the left side and fold that over first. It doesn't matter, it's whichever way that you'd like. And kind of tuck that over. And then this one's going to do the same. And that's how we're going to kind of wrap it up. Now, um, what I like to do is um, I'm going to put my finger here and kind of press this. And what I want to do is where this made this um, score line, um, you can go ahead and take this to your trimmer. Um, no one's going to see it. I'm just going to take my snips and straight cut that. I want just this little piece off. I think it makes it fold better, and you'll see why in a little bit. Okay, now on the side that's gonna be your tap, or your top of your wrap, I'm going to take some tear and tape here, and put that down on the side. And this is all the glue that we're going to need, all of the adhesive. So again, I'm going to put this over, and now I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to make sure that I line up the bottom here so that we have a nice edge and then kind of wrap it around. And then there's our wrap. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And I love that it slides in and out. If you wanted to, you could put some glue dots on the back of the candy bar, um, but really it's nice and secure. So that's the wrap. So let's go ahead and do some decorating now. So to decorate this, I'm using Peaceful Deer Bundle. That's going to be the Peaceful Deer Stamp Set and the Deer Builder Punch. Um, you can save 10% if you get that as a bundle. The paper is, um, as I mentioned, it's a celebration item. It's only available um, with a $50 purchase. It's one of the items that you can choose as a free item. And I love it that it coordinates so beautifully with the Peaceful Deer. All right, so I'm using the black and white checked um, ribbon. I'm going to tie a bow. My bows look better when I tie them upside down on the project, so that's why I've kind of flipped that the other way. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got my retired scissors that were my ribbon scissors. I just have a pair that's just for cutting fabric and ribbon. I've gone ahead and done all of the prep work because I wanted to just make this a nice quick video, but I wanted to share with you that on this paper here, some of the images do punch out using the, the deer punch, but if you just turn it over on the back side of that same paper and punch, that's you can get a plaid deer image, and that's what I did. So ahead of time, I made some circles from Cherry Cobbler 
basic black and basic white from the layering circle dies. Um, you can pick whatever size that you want. And then with the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, I used one of the sentiments from the Peaceful D Deer stamp set, wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear. Such a cute, cute one. And we're just gonna take some liquid glue and layer these all up. And as you saw, I stamped the image, the sentiment down towards the bottom of it. Light touch is always with the multi-purpose glue. You just need a little bit. Cute, cute, cute. All right, and now with some Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm going to put one, here's the sentiment, I'm gonna put one high and one low. Before I put this on the card, or on our treat holder here, I'm going to put the ribbon where I want it, want it over just a little bit. And now I'm going to sandwich the, cent or the layering piece so that it sticks just a little above the V. And if I, um, since I had the dimensionals on either side, if I want to move the ribbon, I can, and it'll free, free move back and forth. All right, now to make the little deer image, what um, I'm going to do, I punched one out of basic black as well. I wanted to give it just a little dimension. And so I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the black cut out, punch out. And with my designer paper, the plaid designer paper, I am going to slightly offset it. Kind of gives it that little bit of a shadow, not by much, but just a little bit. And I think it adds just a little bit of dimension for him when it's on there. I'm gonna actually see if I can move him just a tad more. I'm gonna just kind of squish him over. There we go. Okay, so I don't want it to be too awfully high. I've got the dimensions on both the layering piece and on the layer of the deer. And so now, and we just want to, I kind of goofed up here, I think, put some liquid glue just on his legs and kind of the lower half of his body. That's gonna be a little too high. And then we can position him here. Well, it might be okay. Just don't go all the way to the top because you don't want glue on the outside. Look how cute. Now, um, you could stop right there, but I have some red rhinestones and I'm gonna add a couple of them onto the project. One, um, kind of just give him a little red-nosed reindeer, a little Rudolph kind of action. And then put one on either side of the sentiment here. And so now you have a cute and quick, um, um, treat holder or, or, or treat wrap and gift to give somebody, um, you know, in their Christmas stocking or whatever. Let me show you another version that I have of it too. So ahead of time, I made a full version of this. This is made with the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper um, and some of the gorgeous sleeves bundle that we had, um, that we have in the end or the holiday catalog as well. So I just wanted to show that you can make these for any occasion, any season. Um, and right now um, it is celebration. So if you like this paper, this would be one of your choice selections that you could have. All right. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye-bye.